We're here at the Canyon Club in Agora Hills at a benefit for the ALS Association Golden West Chapter. Now, this benefit is being put on in honor of Jamie Doherty, who was diagnosed with Lou Gehrig's disease early last year. We're out with a party, a great night. A band from TV is here to celebrate, kick up a great style party. We have uh, silent auction items, lots of great food, and a lot of entertainment here for a great cause. Let it rain, let it rain, let it rain, let it rain. So what brings you to the event tonight? Uh, to support Jamie and his family. We're good friends with uh, uh, Jamie's in-laws. And how did you feel when you got this diagnosis? You heard about it? Uh, just devastated. He's such a good guy and we wish him the best, wish the family the best. I know it's a tough time for him. Now does it inspire you to see your coach out there, you know, working, being so brave and being so positive about his condition? Yeah, yeah. He's like, like he's like sad but he's always positive. That's great. Can you do me a favor and just all of you, just look into the camera and just say if you had a message to give to, to Jamie Doherty, if you would just go ahead and give that, that would be great. I hope you feel better soon, or get better. Yeah, get better. We're supporting you tonight. Uh, you're a really great coach, and uh, we're supporting you. I appreciate the years that you spent uh, helping me become a baseball player, and I wouldn't be the same without you. Well, he's lucky to have worked with such kids like you. Thank you so much. I'm here with the two ladies who are responsible for the planning of this event. So tell me, why did you decide to make the event here at the Canyon Club? Well, first of all, ALS has done an event here in the past. Uh, they had a Little Feet concert, and Lynn put it on, and we thought, what a great venue, and we thought it'd be a lot of fun. What goes into planning an event like this? How much time? Well, it takes six months to put it together, to do all the arrangements for the silent auction, the invitations, and getting the word out to all the people to come. Now, the band from TV is a big part of headlining tonight's activities. How did you find them? Do you have a connection with them? Greg Runberg is one of the parents on my son's baseball team. We've been together for years. Our team has uh, traveled together for years. And when Jamie was diagnosed with ALS, Jamie's our coach, we decided, Greg and I, we have to do a concert. So I just said, Greg, what do you think of the Canyon Club? Will you do it? And he said, absolutely. So I said, Lynn, I need your help. Now, you have a personal connection with the event tonight. I do. Uh, Jamie Doherty, who we are honoring tonight, uh, who unfortunately has ALS, is such a wonderful guy. Now, people say that all the time about people like, oh, he's such a great guy. He truly is a great guy. I mean, if there was a role model that I would want, that I would want to follow, it's Jamie. He's been a, a coach to my son at West Hills Baseball and um, on his travel team and everything. And it's tragically ironic that a guy that you would want to, you know, uh, be teaching not only baseball but life everything to people for 120 years plus has been struck with something like this so the least I could do was honor him and the band you know ask my band to come out and the band is made up of if you don't know Bob Guinea who was the bachelor Scott Grimes from ER Jesse Spencer from now uh, Chicago Fire but formerly from house James Denton from Desperate Housewives Eddie Matos, all these great guys, um, Adrian Pazdar, who was on Heroes with me, and we each have a charity that we uh, support, and over the last seven years, we've raised millions, raised millions of dollars for charity, and this is the kind of thing where we can come, we don't charge anything, and we, you know, hopefully raise a lot of money for the cause that we're playing for. So what did it do to the morale of the team when you found out your coach was diagnosed with ALS? Um, it was tough. We had to really talk about it with our parents, find out what the whole disease was about. But yeah, it's really sad, but um, that's why we're all here, to just really remember him. 
ALS is a neurodegenerative disease that usually attacks both upper and lower motor neurons and causes degeneration throughout the brain and spinal cord. The disease is often referred to as Lou Gehrig's disease because the baseball legend brought nationwide attention to the disease in 1939 when he abruptly retired after being diagnosed with ALS. How does it feel to have so many people out here celebrating you and honoring you? You know, it absolutely feels terrific and I'm just so humbled by the response that we've had, not only by the participation here tonight, but also by the silent auction items and emails and uh, phone calls that I've received. Now, what is your goal for the event tonight? The goal is really to spread awareness about ALS and to uh, raise money for uh, the ALS Golden West chapter, which helps families that don't have the financial wherewithal to buy walkers, wheelchairs, and they also provide funding for ALS research. Now, you were diagnosed with ALS uh, early last year, correct? I was diagnosed with ALS about 18 months ago, and... Um, the symptoms started with a drop foot and continued uh, on with uh, my left side not being a little bit weak. And uh, it's continued to the point where I now need to use a wheelchair. How did you feel when you first got the diagnosis? You know, I really wasn't uh, angry at all. I, I was, um, it was an interesting um, uh, a feeling. I, I really felt blessed that I have had such a meaningful life and have done so many wonderful things. Um, I was very happy that it wasn't my uh, daughter or my son or my wife, um, but I, I, I've lived life to the fullest, and uh, after being diagnosed, I, I was really very comfortable with it. So uh, do you expect the turnout to be what you had hoped for this event? Yeah, we have a great turnout. We had a lot of people come from ALS, people come to support Jamie, and we had people that followed the band from TV, and they're here as well. Now, what kind of fundraising goals do you have for an event like this one? Well, we, we set goals about $50,000, and we use that to provide um, help for families and patients with ALS, and also we are funding research studies so we can find a cure for this disease. Well, it's a great cause and highly appreciated that you ladies have done all the work that you've done. Are you able now to just relax and enjoy the party? We're getting there. Not quite. There's still, there's still a lot to be done yeah. behind the scenes. Besides the amazing entertainment that's lined up tonight, they have a really cool silent auction. In fact, they have such great stuff being auctioned off tonight. I just might have to sneak over and sign up for a couple of things. So what brought you to the ALS Association Golden West Chapter? Uh, I have a mutual friend, uh, Dean Rasmussen, who was one of the founding board members of the chapter. And I do feel very fortunate that uh, the Golden West Chapter is right in our backyard. Many, many people that are diagnosed with ALS across the United States need to fly mi uh, many, many miles to get to, uh, to a chapter, to a care facility. And so uh, I feel very fortunate that uh, it was right here in Calabasas. Well, it sounds like you have gotten a great attitude about all of this. Is, are there any life lessons you've learned from being diagnosed with a disease like this one? You know, I wouldn't say there's any life lessons, but I would tell you that one of the reasons that I was comfortable with the diagnosis is live life to its fullest. You enjoy each and every day and don't, don't take any day for granted. And so the life lesson is if you live your life in a meaningful way, give back to your community, uh, have good values with your family, uh, if you get a diagnosis like this, it's really much easier to handle. So I'm here with Fred Fisher. He's the president and CEO of the ALS Association Golden West Chapter. This night is a very big event, and you visit a lot of these events in your position. Is that correct? 
Uh, we have a lot of families who are committed to the fight against ALS, and so it's my pleasure to travel around the state to uh, a variety of events, uh, all designed to support the mission of the ALS Association. And what kind of services does it provide? So when you support the ALS Association, you're funding uh, state-of-the-art care through uh, multidisciplinary clinics. You're providing social workers to help families deal with the progression of the disease, support groups, education programs, free loans of the equipment that people need as they progress through the disease. You're also supporting research around the world see, uh, seeking a treatment for ALS. Uh, and you're also supporting our efforts to advance public policy in Washington, D.C. and Sacramento, like um, full service connected disability for veterans who get ALS and Medicare disability waiver. and. Um, and actually the largest source of funding comes through our federal public policy efforts uh, for, for ALS research. So when you support the ALS Association, you're actually accomplishing a lot in the fight against this disease. Amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, a degenerative muscular disease, later commonly referred to as Lou Gehrig's disease. Is there any kind of cure on the horizon? Is there any new information coming on in that way? Well, there are more clinical trials going on now than at any time before, so uh, the ALS research and medical community are very optimistic, but currently there's only one drug approved by the FDA for ALS, and that slows down the progression by about two to three months. So that's why our focus is on patient care and this multidisciplinary model, because that helps patients live seven to nine to 10 months longer. So we can help people live three times longer than the only approved drug just by providing them with great care. So that's our focus. Is there any support or services for the emotional side of ALS for the families and for the people who are affected? Sure, it's a devastating disease. Uh, it moves very quickly. Uh, typically most people succumb to the disease within two to five years. So uh, emotional support, physical support, family support, uh, medical support, those are all part of our uh, cadre of services that we offer. Excellent. How do people find out more about the Golden West chapter of the ALS Association? Well, Google is our friend, so if you Google ALS, you'll see the ALS Association right up top, or they can go directly to our website at alsagoldenwest.org. Well, this evening has been entertaining, educational, and very emotional here as we've celebrated at the Canyon Club in Agora Hills the life of Jamie Doherty, and we've raised funds for ALS. For more information on ALS or to visit this amazing charity's website, go to alsagoldenwest.org. Thank you for joining me for this episode of Your City, Your Issues. I'm Laura Nickerson.